That was cool. I caught one, you guys. I'm cooking lunch. Oh man, this is so good. <laughs> I just got the stink eye. <laughs> I'm parked in front of these houses, guys, and I'm just sitting in the back of my van. Get my fishing gear together, and this lady comes back from a walk, giving me quite a glare. <laughs> I'm not defacing the environment or doing anything like that, but I'm guessing she's had some interactions in the past that maybe weren't so pleasant. Or maybe she just developed her own opinion. I don't know, but it was quite the glare. She's still looking at me. She's coming back. I wonder if I can say good morning. Morning. How are you? Good. Did you sleep in there? Yeah, not at this location. <laughs> no, I got a heater in here. Oh. Um, yeah, I was just on Salt Spring for a couple of days, and uh, yeah, just came came back to town last night and slept in behind the Savon. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, you know what? All around here, it's sunny. It's just here. Okay. I just come from um, Sandishton for... and it's brilliant Today? sunshine there. Yeah. So I hope it's on its way. <laughs> you, you live here or? No, I look after a lady in a house. Oh, okay. Here. Yeah. So it's my house for a day. It's oh, beautiful. good. Yeah, it is beautiful. I'm going to throw some traps in the, off the pier and see if we catch crabs. Yeah? Yeah. Maybe it was just uh, one of those resting bitch faces. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> that was cool. Anyway, um, I'm grabbing my traps, you guys. I'm going to head out on the pier and see if I can catch myself lunch. It's chilly out, so I'm bundled up quite a bit. Whew. I might need to put on another layer actually. I'm already feeling really, really cold. I don't know what it is, but I feel really cold these days. Um, I don't know if it's something in my diet. Like I've been doing keto mostly one meal a day. And so, I don't know if that's it. But, Granted, it has been very foggy out. It's foggy right now. You're about to see it. And, uh, yeah, it's got this moist coolness in the air. There we go. Fishing license. Some of these things. These, these actually help for, um, when the claws, like, of crabs, like, just around one of the, the net things. I can stick this in the claw and just kind of open it and pull it out. So those will come in handy for that. All right. This already feels like a very good start to the day. I've heard from others that this is a good place to catch a Dungeness crab, so I'm gonna give it a go. And uh, I've already seen another fisherman down here doing just that. A little sign here about these guys. Look at this. I actually call this place a fishing pier. It's a fishing pier, guys. This was made for this exact thing. So I think it's gonna be okay dropping the crabs off the edge if they are not legal. <laughs> Thank you. 
Uh, timer just went off, so I'm gonna pull this guy up and see what we got. <laughs> Nothing, guys. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll reposition that, actually. Uh, it's starting to warm up a little bit, which is nice. My fingers are not as cold. I was gonna go back to the van, but uh, I'll probably just stay out here for a little bit now that I'm here. Demolishing it, I don't know. Gotta be the bait he's using. That's it guys, I'm, I'm gonna pack this up. Uh, I haven't got a single bite. This guy over here is catching tons. Um, and I think it might be just what I'm using for bait. But anyway, I've got squid and chicken and neither of that's really working. Dash eight. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna pack this up. It's not, uh, it's not really working out. I caught one, you guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so that is a male, and I'm betting this guy is legal, you guys. He's gotta be bigger than that in the widest point, and he definitely is. And he's bigger than about six inches. I'm just gonna relocate because my time is up at this particular spot. Okay, so it is all cleaned out, ready to go. So I got two halves. And uh, I'm just gonna get my pot together, which is right here. Stay there. Unfortunately, I didn't have any salt in my van at the moment. Um, I do have a bunch of it, but it's sitting over at Nick's place. Anyway, I use this in my water. It's got a bunch of salt in it, but it's got some herbs in it, so the water is going to be a little colored. It's got some little bits in it. So I'm just kind of aesthetically, um, well, you know, aesthetically it's not as pleasing, but it's going to work. <clears throat> and now that seems like a really big pot for cooking up a crab. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the crab in the water once the water's boiling and boil it for about 10 minutes. And then uh, as soon as it's done, I'll take it out, strain off the water, and immediately I'll add some chilled water to it just to help cool it down, stop the cooking process. And from what I've learned online is that's gonna help to separate the meat from the shell when I go to break it all apart and make that process a lot easier. Otherwise, it tends to stick to it and it's a little bit more tricky to deal with. Um, so I'm gonna do that. <clears throat> and while it's chilling, then I'm going to put together the butter and garlic, uh, just get that all cooking together. So um, yeah, this won't take very long. And I'm so happy I caught a crab, you guys. 
Something's getting there. So I already cleaned the crab, um, and what I'm left over with is the two sides, and I've got the claws and the legs on here. Um, I didn't want to share that. If you guys want to see that, there's plenty of videos online that show you how to do that particular thing. In my case, I just wanted to get it done and uh, throw these in the pot, so that's what we're going to do. And I think we are just about ready with the water. There we go. Set the timer here for 10 minutes. Yeah, we're cooking lunch. That's cute. This uh, couple pulled up in their little van there. And uh, it's the same van as mine, actually. And she was, uh, she was taken by the fact that I had this crab cook going on. I don't think she actually came around and saw what the inside of this thing looks like, but pretty cool. Here it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that steamy goodness. Oh, it looks really good, guys. Look how beautiful that looks. So I'll just put him up there. Gave this a clean out and that's good to put away. A little drip on the side. So I'm just gonna put that away, kind of make a little bit more space inside the van. And the garlic is doing its thing down there. Gonna plug you guys into the computer here and uh, get going on the live. This is so good. <laughs> Damn, that's really good. Here's a little bit I'm gonna put on my spoon. There we go. Oh man. Oh, this guy is so good. Mm. Oh my gosh. So good. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Stay tuned for the live, you guys. I'm gonna jump on that right now and um, enjoy the rest of this delicious crab. Um, and I'll be right back with you. Hang on. Okay, honey. Love you. Okay, so we're back. That was pretty cool. <clears throat> So guys, um, the crab was really good and that was a great live stream and it feels weird to transition like this through this video. But um, <clears throat> anyway, the sun has gone down. I got the heater going now because it's getting pretty cold in here. And man, it's really beautiful out. Let's take in the scenery just a little bit, but I am going to get going, but I do want to take in the scenery because it looks awesome. Look at how Freaking awesome that looks. There's Mount Washington way back there. I probably could have spent some of this day outside getting some real vitamin D. Uh, I do have vitamin D supplements that I take, but uh, in any case, <laughs> vitamin D, you guys. It's important. Go. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. and upwards. I'm heading. 
heading into Victoria right now. I just, uh, just been chatting with Nick and Michaela. And, uh, yeah, he's got to fly in for head out in the morning, so I want to go see him today. It's dark out, but I made it. <laughs> So I got something from my mom. Arrowax. What is this stuff? Oh, 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 this is not Arrowax. Hell yeah. Mom sent me some garlic from her garden. Holy moly. Wicked. Uh oh. Some of this stuff's pretty squishy. Mm-hmm. We'll see. <clears throat> Take a look at this, guys. My mom sent me some garlic. Uh, yeah, I just did laundry. It's good to go. And I saw those guys, they actually just took off too. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of unwind a little bit some more, catch up on some schoolwork and that kind of thing. I'm sorry I'm not going to share any further content over here at Nick's Place. I'm going to say stay tuned for the next video, guys. Much love, and we'll see you soon. Bye.